Hey guys, this is The Calling with Frankie, and again, we have another incredible guest on the show today for you. He is a Christian hip-hop artist. He's got a great line of music. I love his vibe. Today, we want to welcome to the show, Blessed Child. Welcome to The Calling. What's going on, man? How y'all doing? Love having you on today. I want to talk about your story. you got an incredible story. I was reading a little bit about your bio. Um, you're doing some great things in the scene. I uh, saw you down there in Tampa. And tell the folks uh, maybe who uh, are just coming across who you are and what you're about. Tell, tell us your story and a little bit of background about who Blessed Child is and where you came from. Um, originally born in Trenton, New Jersey, uh, up north, uh, not too far from New York. Um, man, uh, just my life, man, your, your typical youth as a non-believer, um, dwelling in things that are not of, that were, uh, were not of God, um, you know, uh, partying, drinking, smoking. Um, one of my, one of my, uh, things that I, I dealt with really hard was I, I was a, uh, a, a terrific liar. <laughs> and, uh, God really, God really pulled me from that man in, uh, in 06. Um, um, God definitely elected me to, um, to, uh, preach the gospel and also use music as a, as a form of preach the gospel. I mean, I've, I've always been, um, I've always been, you know, um, into music as far as, you know, rap is concerned and singing is concerned. Um, even now, where I'm at now, I'm at my uncle's house in Atlanta. Um, and he, you know, he, he's into music. My whole family is always into music. But, um, God, uh, really pulled me to the side and wanted me to use music as a tool to deliver the gospel to those, uh, who won't hear it and who won't step foot in a traditional church or who've been hurt by traditional churches. And, um, you know, they're not seeking religion. They're seeking, they're seeking a relationship with Christ. So blessed child is a child who, who's been blessed tremendously, uh, all my life to be able to continuously, uh, give the gospel to Jesus Christ. And that's awesome. It, it, you know, when you listen to your music, um, uh, I, I sense a little bit of, uh, a mixed artistry, if I could say that. Um, where kind of, what kind of, where are you getting your background from, or what kind of vibe are you, um, you know, tapping into that that really makes Bless Child what what you are when when someone listens to your tracks? Um, for foremost, I always, you know, I want to make sure uh, someone who, whether it be atheist or a Rastafarian or someone who is not a believer of the gospel, um, is able to sit and listen to this and say, yeah, I, I can relate to this, or man, or just even if they catch their ear, um, so. My my uh, my foundation will always be non-believers. My second foundation will be the street, because um, I you know that's that's pretty much where I came from, um, and then it grows up to those who who may be Bible savvy, but um you know don't really have you know much to listen to. So it it starts off with non-believers, believers or people who understand the gospel in the street, and then believers, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, I try to make sure, you know, because I, I don't, I don't focus on a particular style, um, that I, I just, whatever, you know, the spirit lays upon me to write, you know, I go in and, and, you know, it, but I make sure that it's definitely the gospel, because the gospel is relevant now and it always has been, always will be. Yeah, and, and it seems like you do, uh, I guess they would be called covers and, and you put some great lyrics of your own on there. Um, where, where do you get those ideas from and, and how does that work for you as far as how people are responding to that kind of music that you got? Okay, yeah, I, it sounds like you're talking about Roman Noodles. Yeah. Um, Roman Noodles, I did, uh, I did do some secular covers. Um, uh, the reason, the reason being for that, uh, was, um, um, I, I stopped that when I first started. I started with a group in, uh, in Trent, New Jersey called Christian Entertainment. Uh, a lot of brothers of mine. We, and that's all we had. We didn't have any instrumentals that we can go to. We knew nothing about sound click. So, uh, what we did was we, um, we used cover, cover instrumentals. And, um, I strayed away from that because I'm like, okay, you know what? It can, you know, I was told that some people can get affected by it. But, um, as time went by, I do have an album called Salah Music that's out. I'll give you guys that information. But um, a lot of music was all original beat. Um, this time around, Roman Noodles, um, I did Roman Noodles because I was told by someone I was trying to put the gospel to that, oh, you know, there's like, oh, it's impossible to make a hot song about Christ and it be rap. And I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, that's not true. It was like, well, spit to this beat. They kept giving me second the beat. And I'm like, okay, you know what? 
I'm going to do this just for you. And I put together Roman noodles. I used two um, cover songs from actual um, uh, Christian artists. I used, uh, I did, re- I redid Killer from Lecrae and also redid Hero from Trip Lee. Um, but everything else was an uh, old secular beat. And they heard it and they were like, yo, I can't believe that you were able to do this. And because, you know, like I said, they're so used to tradition. They're so used to, you know, organs and choirs and robes. You know, so I, I want to step out the box to show them that, hey, there is no box. Um, and, you know, and to those, now that, you know, I, so far I haven't got any, um, backdraft from it, which is a, a blessing. So, <laughs> but, um, you know, Roman noodles was just a, you know, it was something for those who will not search the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, south.com. They're not going to search the reverb nation. They're not going to go and look for Christian rap. So we bring it to them and we got to catch their ear, man. Paul said, I became like many to say with you. Yeah, and I and I enjoy it a lot actually, and I have no problem with it. Um, uh, not that people are watching this for my opinion, but uh, I, I really uh, was digging that a lot. Tell us about: uh, Are you working on any new projects right now, or anything going coming up that's kind of uh, in in the in the frying pan, about to be ready to be uh, cooked up and served? Um. <laughs> well, right now, man, I'm doing some seasoning right now, some preparation. <laughs> I, yeah. I am working on a uh, a new album. Um, called Euangelion, which is Greek for the gospel. Um, and, um, it's just, it's gonna, it's gonna be another, uh, it's gonna be another, um, another album just focused on giving the gospel. Um, and I have some, uh, I, ha- I do have some cool features that's gonna be on there. Um, I have Miss Reality. Um, she's gonna be on there. I got Zion out of Savannah, Georgia is gonna be on there. Um, of course, you know, for all my Orlando and Tampa heads, HGA will definitely be on the album. So it's going to be, it's going to be, a, um, it's going to be a, 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 a dope album, man. And it should be coming out probably sometime next year in the summertime. Awesome. So, uh, this summer or next summer? Um, next summer. Next summer. Okay. And where, where's the best place, uh, just kind of give you a, a midway plug, uh, through this interview. Where's the best way people can find you, listen to your music, kind of get a little background bio from, uh, from who you are? Um, you can go to reverbnation.com forward slash, uh, blessed child SSMG. Um, and, you know, you'll find my music on there. You'll find, uh, you know, a lot of my information on my bio. And also you can check me up on Facebook at, uh, just look for blessed child. 